If you've already seen our videos on the PGI-72 and PGI-9 cartridges and the force and the drill fill refill methods, then you're probably wondering why we're doing another refill technique video on a cartridge like the PFI-300, which looks identical to um, a PGI-72. The reason this video is being put together is because as part of our review with the Pro 300 and the PFI 300 cartridges, we realized we'd missed one critical scenario that may or may not affect you. If you are the kind of person who likes to be able to profile your inks, papers and printer, um, then you definitely need to be paying attention. If however, you're just happy to be able to put ink into your existing cartridges, use them, adjust as required to get the results that you want, then this probably isn't gonna be of interest, but it may be useful anyway, so it's entirely up to you as to whether or not you want to continue to watch. So anyway, what exactly is the problem? The issue comes not with the dribble fill method, but with the force fill method that we've shown you in the past. What we used to do was attach the flush clip directly to your bottle of ink, and then you would pour ink into your cartridge and refill the cartridge that way. The problem is, that you run the risk of the elasticity of your bottle, the bit where your bottle just wants to pull itself back into shape like that, you run the risk of this actually sucking ink back out of your cartridge, particularly if you are using a cartridge that has contained or contains ink of a different type or a different manufacturer. If that's the scenario, then you, you don't want to be uh, running with a cartridge that's partially full um, with OEM ink, for example, and then attach your bottle of ink direct to that, start squeezing away, and then kind of loosen your grip a bit and have the bottle suck a mix of this refill ink and the ink that was already in there back into the bottle. Because if you do that, what will happen is you'll contaminate or effectively dilute your refill ink with whatever was in that cartridge. To help avoid this particular problem, what we've got is a subtle difference on the force fill method that you can use when you first start with a set of cartridges that have had a different ink in them. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna get into it. First thing we've done, I've already vacuumed out this cartridge of all of the original ink as much as I could using this syringe and um, our, our flush clip. Now that I've done that and I've got everything ready to go again, what I want to do now is I want to part fill this cartridge using our refill ink to dilute anything that's left in there down so that we can then vacuum all of that out and anything that's left is then mostly our new refill ink and very little of the ink that was originally in there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do that and then show you how we actually deal with the next part. I've got my cartridge um, set up on the um, scales there just to give me an idea of how much ink is going to be going in. And then all I'm gonna do is just dribble our ink directly into the cartridge like so. Now the goal here is to put in, yeah, it's definitely magenta good, is to put in around about five grams or five milliliters of ink. Now the other thing I'm doing when I'm dribbling this in is I'm not sticking this down into the ink there, I'm dribbling it down onto it. So I'm doing it from a little bit of a height so that I don't inadvertently suck ink back into the bottle that way either. Okay, so bit by bit, so we're about a gram and a half, milliliter and a half, give or take. Two. Goal is to put about five, five milliliters, five grams of ink into this cartridge and also sort of flush everything that's in the sponge near the outlet back into the cartridge. Nearly there, five grams coming up. And there we go. So now that I'm there, clean off my needle, put my scabbard, back on the bottle like so and pop it out of the way. Okay, 
Then what we do is we stick the, um, our, this isn't a flush clip, this is just a standard storage clip that you normally get with your cartridge. Stick that on, you then shake your cartridge for about a minute to try and mix the ink that you've just put in there with whatever was left in your cartridge to dilute it down as much as humanly possible. You'll notice I'm, move, I'm basically shaking it from side to side, end to end, and also front to back. Right, that should be about enough. So now that we've done that, we reattach our syringe to the flush clip, like so. Remove the storage clip from the cartridge and reattach our flush clip and syringe to the cartridge. Now, as you can probably guess, next job is to suck all of that ink out of our cartridge like so. What I want to do is get a good amount of negative pressure and that will suck an ink foam out of there like so. And that gets most of the original ink that was in there and also the ink that we just pushed in so that anything that's left is diluted down to virtually nothing. Okay, there we go. Now, all of the stuff that we've now got in our syringe, that now needs to be dumped. Um, you're not gonna be using it again because it's effectively a mix and then you wash out the syringe. While I'm doing the washing out, you don't leave your cartridge like this, you stick your storage clip like so over cartridge so that it doesn't dry out while you're getting things done or in case you forget. The reason for that is if you leave it to dry out, it'll become very, very difficult to refill in the future. Okay, so I'm just gonna go give this a wash and I'll be right back. All right, syringe has now been washed out. What I'm going to do, I've taken it apart like this. I'm using a relatively lint-free kitchen towel to dry out the barrel of the syringe as much as possible. Just give it a general wipe down. So that we can reuse it. And as you can imagine, you can see there, it's slightly stained. Um, and that's because it's being used for all the magentas and the red. Um, so there is a tiny amount of contamination between the different colors, but nothing that you're gonna get bent out of shape about, certainly nothing compared to what was left in that cartridge originally. Okay, the other thing I'm using is a Q-tip or cotton bud, just to empty any rubbish out of the fitting there. Like so, that gets rid of most of that quite happily. Now that I have um, diluted any remaining ink down to bare minimum and established our refill ink as being basically the predominant fluid left in there, um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to refill this cartridge. Now you might think, oh, well, it's fine. You can force fill this cartridge absolutely fine at this point. And you could, but you'd still be running the risk of pulling any remaining um, OEM ink or original ink that was in there um, back into your ink. So instead of doing that, what we're gonna do is use our syringe and our flush clip as a sort of an intermediary or like an airlock, as a barrier between the bottle and the cartridge and the ink from the cartridge getting back to that bottle, okay? The way we're gonna do that is we are going to use the syringe to do a force fill this one time while the cartridge is, is, is in its first time for refilling and a female to female lure connection. Female to female means you can connect a syringe and also our squeezy fill caps directly um, to each other. So what you do is you get your um, adapter and you gently screw that in. Don't screw it too tight because this plastic is very soft and it'll strip the um, thread in there. So you need to be careful of that. And because this is much harder plastic, this will also rotate this lure connection. So what you do is when you're doing this, you grip just there, that grip around the lure connect, sorry, lure adapter and uh, stop the syringe from rotating it too much in the squeezy, in the squeezy fill cap. Okay. Right. So now that's on connected. I'm going to draw 13 to 14 mil of ink. There you go. 
got to where I wanted it. Unlock. And there you go. Okay, so there you go. 14 mil of ink. I then attach my flush clip to my syringe and attach the whole thing to my cartridge ready for refilling. Okay, so I'm going to pour or push my 13 to 14 mil of ink into this cartridge. Now, key thing to note, you may have spotted that there is a small air bubble just at the top here. So I'm actually going to stop short of one mil. So that I don't push foam into my cartridge. The other thing I'm doing is you'll notice I'm not angling for the camera. I'm actually holding this directly down. So around about there, that's as far as I want to go. Okay. I then pull the clip off, see the cartridge down, put that to one side for just one second. Turn my scales on. So that's now zeroed out and put my cartridge on there. So that weighs 29.76 grams. Our target weight is around about 33 grams, 33 to 34 grams. So what we're going to do is we've reattached our needle to our bottle, take the scabbard off and we're going to dribble fill just to top up our cartridge so that we're up to the target weight. And again, we're going to run this all along the outlet sponge like so. It's already up to 31 grams. Nearly 32. And it's starting to slow down now. I think to be fair, I'll probably go as far as that. That'll do because that's now starting to um, slow right down, which indicates that it's, it's almost full. Okay, so I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. Like so. Make sure there's no ink through. And then we cap our cartridge. Now, before we cap our cartridge, the thing the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed is this is potentially stained. If you're, you know, if you've been um, using this with OEM ink and you've refilled it, the first thing to do before you put this on is to actually wash this so that that staining and any remaining ink that was on there is gone. Once I'm happy with that, I then use that to close the cartridge off, and it's now ready to be used. Beyond that, need to make sure that you have cleaned everything up, wiped your needle off, put scabbard on so that your ink bottle is not drawing any new air in there and clean up your cartridges and things. Now, the little bit of extra ink that I had left over because I was concerned about the air bubble, um, that gets dumped as well. You don't want to be pouring that back into your ink bottle because, you know, potentially that's going to have been contaminated. Okay, so again, you dump that and you're good to go. So that's all the equipment cleaned. Just to recap, that refill technique is what we would recommend when you are starting out with a new set of cartridges that have never been refilled before. It allows you to flush out any of the original ink as much as humanly possible without using cleaning solutions and all the rest of it. And at the same time, allows you to force fill your cartridge with your new refill ink um, whilst maintaining the consistency of your refill ink set um, so the ink in your bottle it helps avoid any contamination getting into that bottle for as long as possible so that if you're profiling in particular you know that ink is going to be consistent throughout your refilling career if you like. The dribble fill method as you can see hasn't changed at all. The force fill method as shown in the past with the bottle directly attached to the flush clip is still an option, but what we're recommending is that you don't use that approach when you first start out refilling a cartridge that has never been refilled before. If you are somebody who isn't too worried about color consistency, just looks at prints and says, wow, they're amazing, then this probably isn't gonna be of any real benefit to you at all. But if you are somebody that custom profiles or who just wants that stability of color staying the same throughout, then this video definitely was for you and I hope you found it useful. As ever, if you did find it useful, please do give us a like. If you're interested in our content, then please do subscribe. And as ever, 
feedback, constructive criticism, they're all welcome. Please use the comments below or send us a message direct using our contact details. Be much appreciated. Anyway, thanks for watching and all the best. Bye-bye.